Okay, so for part of this video, there may be a microphone. For part of it, it may not. I apologize if the sound is strange or anything like that. But as you guys can see, I wanted to bring you along while I am doing the photos for the Live Love Inspire collection um, photo shoot. And so that is what we are going to be talking all about today. And I'm going to show you guys the process. So I actually just started moving my office around a little bit to make some space. I'm actually doing it in here, um, mainly because a lot of the stuff is in here and lighting is actually not going to be too bad i've already kind of tested it out a little bit just see as i told you guys so if you haven't already watched part one of the photography series uh definitely watch that one i give you tons of tips on how to plan out your shoot uh what types of backgrounds and things you need to get started props um and just how to set yourself up for success when it comes to doing a shoot that you have a lot of stuff that you need to um get done if you have like a big launch or if you're launching your website whatever the case is this is so you can take a ton of product photos and so you can see how it actually goes for me um, when I'm actually in the process of doing that. Okay, so here are my soft boxes set up next to each other. I actually have a third one and I may or may not pull it out depending on if I need more light, but it's actually looking pretty good right now. And as you guys saw, I've just set this up. It's really simple. I already have my shoot list ready to go, so I'll show you guys that in a second, but this is where I'm gonna be shooting all of the pictures. The lighting looks amazing. I have a little bit of some natural light over here that's coming in and also back here, which is really helping. Typically, I don't film in this room or I don't take pictures in this room usually, but I decided to do it because everything is in here and it just seemed a lot easier and it's such a big release that I just didn't feel like lugging everything into my bedroom, which is the room that has the most lighting. Most of the time, if you're doing it at home, you wanna make sure that you're doing it in a room where you have the best lighting. And also, I love the opportunity that I can add my soft boxes to the lighting and it really helps to um, just add to it and make it really good. So today it actually looks pretty good in here, so I'm excited to get started. I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my different setups and things and that's something you're interested in then just keep watching on how I do a styled photo shoot uh, for a big launch okay and so here's my shoot list I just pretty much just wrote it down on a random piece of paper today um, but it just has a list of everything that I'm planning to take pictures of or some of them stuff I'll actually be making a graphic for it instead um, which basically just means like for example I'm sure you may, may have seen like a stickers for example you can just do it as more of a digital photo versus taking a picture of the actual sticker kit so that is what all of this stuff is on here and then I have a couple things on the back but I just wanted to show you guys what my shoot list looks like it's really simple you could get more detailed um, I do this all the time so I didn't take the time to actually write out all of the angles and things I want I kind of have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing with that but I do recommend especially if it's your first time if you really take that in-depth planning to figure out exactly uh, what it is that you want to do but like I said this is my setup I am going to be using my camera um, for anyone that is interested in wanting to know what camera I do use it is a Nikon D3200 this is a really old camera I'm hoping um, and, you know at some point I can get a new one but it takes amazing photos um, this is actually the kit lens that came with the camera and I can show you guys that if you're interested. It's 18 by 55 millimeter, and this is a zoom lens as well. And then I have my, what they call a prime lens, and this is a 50 millimeter. If you wanna get the same thing or something similar, I'm just showing you um, what I use. Typically, just to give you guys a quick overview if you are interested in knowing what this stuff is about um a prime lens typically will give you that really nice blurry bokeh effect and so that's when i'll switch to this when i want to um get some really crisp photos and have a more blurred background uh, you can get it a little bit with this one but it's a lot more subtle i would say and um this is the lens like i said that came with the camera so um this is a just a little bit more better quality in general but this one does not zoom in and out so i like to use this one a lot of times because since i'm short it's a lot easier for me to take pictures and zoom in and out without having to stand up on top of anything but i do have my stool in here just in case and then this is the lens again that i can use but i just need a stool because it zooms in so much um, that sometimes it's kind of difficult to uh, get everything you want in the frame unless you're really up high or away from what you're going to be taking a picture of so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to start kind of putting this stuff in a pile over here that you guys will see and then i'm going to slowly take some pictures and then i'll stop and tell you kind of what's going on give you guys some pointers and tips and things and yes yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this
Okay, so as you guys saw, I just had some different props and stuff that I pulled out. Um, just different things that I'll be using for different setups. I will show you a couple of the setups in this video, but just wanted to give you guys a post of some of the stuff. And I started compiling some of the items I'm actually taking pictures of over here um, and different things like that. And then some of them I'm actually still making as I'm doing it. So kind of multitasking a little bit, but for the most part, I have a lot of what I'm going to be taking pictures of. And anytime that you are taking pictures, kind of think of what your color palette is that you're going for. Um, I'm basically just using my brand colors, but the Live Love Inspire collection does incorporate kind of like a coral color in it. Um, so you do see that, but gold, mint, teal, um, just that whole family creams, um, gold. I think I mentioned that already. I love gold. And then I have a couple of different textures over here. I have this nice one. I actually just used this when I was a newborn photographer, but this is just a nice little, I don't even know what this material is. It's just kind of a nice felt type of material and then we have that fur that I was actually telling you guys about in my other video um, about some background so I have that I also am using the back of the style and co uh, backdrop that I showed you guys as well so this is the back which is amazing so you pretty much get like a two for one if you get this one you can actually flip it over and again the quality is really good it's super flat again like I had it all messed up and then I rolled it up and it's just nice and smooth and so I have everything out and I'm gonna go ahead and get started and just maybe set up a time lapse and then I'll talk through a couple things with you guys. It's really messy as you guys can tell, but I do this because I really want to make sure that I get as much stuff done as possible. Um, you never want to have not enough stuff. You always want to have more than you need. So um, that's definitely the case. But if you guys can see, I am in the process of doing some notebooks, but I want to do a couple of different versions of shots with notebooks because I know I'm going to be posting on social media um, with these brand new ones that I just came out with. So I'm kind of playing around a little bit with my setup of how I want to do it. So I'm actually going to do a really full flat lay with like a ton of stuff in the photo and then you're going to see all the notebooks. So I'm going to show you guys how I actually style this in my thought process and you let me know what you think. So I did not look up any inspiration for this one because I kind of already know what I want to do. So let's just see how this turns out so first thing i want to incorporate as many of the new items as possible but i also want to just in, just use regular types of items as well that i could potentially put into this so let me grab some more things and then i'll show you guys how i set this up okay so i actually grabbed i got this as a gift for mother's day but i love the stuff inside of here so i'm going to be pulling some stuff to use of course not the black because it's way too much but the little white and the gold accents and things are going to be perfect to just add some different elements to this little picture setup that I'm doing and then I pulled some things from my shop so I have this little pouch that I'm going to throw in something um, I have journaling cards that are going to be getting photographed by themselves and I might throw one or two of them in there and then I have just some other random stuff uh, different pens this really pretty uh, paper clip that I got from sugar and ice co different things like that that will jazz up the photo in addition to just some flowers that I pulled. I have a ton of flake, fake flowers all over um, just my house in general and I'm always pulling them and using them for photos. So what I'm going to do, these are the three notebooks that I want to do some different setups with and I might actually also do it with the Live Love Inspire notebook as well. So we'll see. But as you guys already saw, I did the individual pictures of them and the different angles. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set one up with all three in there first. So I'm just doing it and I kind of just place it in a certain way to where it just looks kind of almost like intentional, but they're just laid out like this. And then I'm going to throw a bunch of stuff in there. This is one of my favorite types of flat lays to do. It's very organized looking and you can add some dimension. So I'm actually going to add this notebook behind this one and I'm going to turn it a little bit. And then I'm going to add a pin on the side. Uh, let's see what else. I'm going to add another pin like this. else do I want to 
want to do. I got the journaling card that I think would be really cute to put on there. I think I'm going to do the one that really is separate from all of them. Let's see. Might move everything down a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to throw this little dish. This is actually one of the new items as well, so you guys can see. I'm going to throw that right there, and then that's where I'm going to take a couple little paper clips and little push pins. I'm going to sit them placed like that, and then I'm going to throw like two or three paper clips in there, but you'll still be able to see what it says. So it's kind of strategic, I guess you could say. And then I'm also going to throw a white push pin in there. So if you guys can see kind of how it's coming together slowly, you just start building on it and adding different things uh, to make it look just, you know, however you want it to be. And you can look up tons of inspiration online to get ideas for how you would want to set something like this up because it really will vary depending on the type of product you're shooting and just different things like that. Okay, so I think this is really good. I want it to still look clean, so I don't want to get too crazy with it. I was deciding if I wanted to add some flowers in there or not. These look so pathetic, but <laughs> sometimes look really cute. Um, I think I might do that for a separate setup. So this is what I'm going to go with. And then I'm going to just stand above it. So I'm above it right now, and I'm just going to take my photo with my camera. Okay, so now I'm just taking the photo above it to get that bird's eye view that I want. And I have a whole bunch of carpet around it, but I'm going to be cropping the photo. So that is no biggie. And a few things that I could do with my editing on Photoshop uh, that will get rid of anything that's having some issues. And then I'm actually going to switch my lens um, because I want to get a couple of really good shots up close that always look a little bit better with the prime lens I was telling you guys, the 50 millimeter. So I'm flipping to that. And I wish there was a way you guys could see, um, but the settings just kind of vary. Again, I'll have to do a whole different video on that uh, cause that's just doing way too much in this video. This is just to give you guys an insight to my mind of how uh, I set things up. But yes, I'm just gonna get some up close shots of certain things that will look really good. And I'm gonna make sure I insert some of these pictures for you guys to see. I'm gonna move that out of the way. That looks so good with that gold digger and the stuff around it. And then that just gives the thing something extra to look at, a little extra dimension in the photo. Okay, there we go. I like that way better. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how I set them up and kind of create a scene. And I know you're probably like, this is doing so much, but this is really going to help you so you can get some ideas when you're doing your products. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my little fur background. And I'm just going to kind of fold it under so you're not seeing all of the raw stuff that is in there so that it really just looks like either like a fur blanket or whatever the case is. Okay, so now I'm going to set the stuff up. And so when you do photos like this, you can think of a person that you try, you're try you trying to portray like what they may have um, if they were to spill out their bag or something like that uh, is the way you can think of it. But it's basically just showcasing one of the products and then I kind of build around it. And so I thought this would be kind of more of like a chic, type of one, I guess you could say. Um, but they just happen to be carrying this Me Over Fear notebook with them. I love this color of this one. I think this one will go really well. Uh, so basically, I'm just gonna kind of place it right here. And I might actually switch my background up. I'm trying to decide, no, I'll leave it. I think it'll look cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna place the notebook on the rug and I'm going to put this is a little cute dish. I actually showed you guys this in my video. I'm gonna put this right here and then I'm gonna drape this necklace out of there that I actually got from Charming Charlie like last year sometime. And it just has these two little hearts on it and I thought it would be really pretty to have draped for this picture. 
and I'm just playing around with the placement of it. Nothing has to be perfect, but sometimes I can be kind of a perfectionist with this stuff just because I love it so much. And then, of course, we're going to go with this little glam pin. And I'm going to just throw that like that. I'm going to put this cute little clip here. And I just kind of put some stuff almost just like it was randomly placed. And so then I'm thinking like, oh, it'd be really cute if it was like this person just got some flowers or something. So I'm going to throw in these flowers that I have. And I got these from Hobby Lobby. But I think I might just peel one off of the bunch. Um, actually, I don't think I'm going to use that color. I think I'm going to use the peach color. Or even the white. Ooh, this white flower would just be cute. Kind of like... Ooh, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there like that. Oh, and then I have this cute little macaroon thing that I got from Hobby Lobby and then I'm just gonna kind of put that over here and I'm gonna put a couple of these push pins in there but yeah that is how you start styling your flat lays okay so I hope you guys got some things from today's video I just wanted to give you a little bit of some tips on how to take some really good flat lays and show you a little bit of my process I still have a ton of pictures I have to take I still have to do all of the shirts and I'm gonna be taking some style photos on the desk and I'm gonna be holding the products and stuff but I just wanted to give you guys a really brief overview of just some of the stuff that I do how I pull everything out and so yeah if you guys have any questions definitely leave them down below and let me know what you would like to see in the next video for this series um, I could definitely go more in depth on pretty much anything if you want to see my editing process I can show you guys that it's pretty straightforward but um, I'd love to show you guys that or how I edit anything for social media the apps that I use uh, anything just in the realm of photography for your business I would love to share that for the series but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video that is pretty much it I'm gonna get back to taking these pictures because I have a ton of them it's probably gonna end up spilling over into tomorrow because there is actually that much <laughs> so anyway if you guys have not already subscribed to my channel definitely hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my uploads and I'll see you guys in the next video bye